Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Smasher, a technical mod pack all about exploring the solar system and doing crazy things with crazy atoms. And I come to you today, after working on my fission reactor, of a tale of caution. You know, in like school, when you're running your, your mock exams, they're like, read all the paper, get all the way to the end, and make sure you know what you're doing. Well, I had one of those scenarios today. If we are coming up up here, and you can see I've got this player detector. Um, I wanted to find some stuff up about that, and I went to the internet. Can I, can I actually do this? Let's try like dragging this in. Oh yes, look at that. Uh, so I went to the internet, I found a few places to start searching around. First place I went, Tech Reborn, uh, official whiskey you would have thought there'd been some information there direct search nothing nothing there i found some information on the uh the github but even that not very useful so i was like right great full exploration mode Let, let's go for it let's try and find out what's going on with that um and i was like okay things look a little expensive here but i know how to make advanced crafting circuits i can crush emerald plates um, i had to make myself a new new machine over here but like it's, it's not full of stuff that we don't know that, how to make stuff. All the stuff around the outside we know how to make. And this lan linear actuator, I mean, look at it. There we go. Crafted, right? Uh, so I made myself some plates and stuff like that. And then I started looking on this middle bit. And let me tell you, this is where it all fell, fell apart. I just looked at all this stuff and went, oh man, literally everything requires multi-step processing. Um, it was uh, a bit of a wake-up call, a bit of a, a remembrance that, you know... Really, guys, check everything before you start work. Especially when, if we look over here, there's an online detector, and that's just like, look at that price. Ah, so, so I'm going to build one of those. Personally, feel like these uh, repeaters should probably be comparators because they do detecting, whereas repeaters just kind of send information through. Now, you may have remembered from the end of the very, very end of last episode, I forgot to power this thing. That's why the power wasn't looking quite as good as it could have been. Um, but we're going to break this lever now, and that's going to turn that off. As you can see here, at the writing has gone a yellow, so uh, that's that's a thing. Now, if I put this in and just kind of type my name in here, Twitchy One Double O Three. I think I actually need to put the capital. Oh, no, the lights already come on. Brilliant, which now turns that on, which hopefully should stop the uh, pipe problems that me and Forrest have been having. So the trouble is this line here is kind of the, the edge of where Forrest loads, and that will make a whole sort of problem happen here um, where it doesn't want to like pass the power around. But that only happens if the power is flowing. So hopefully with this now detecting my presence or not, it should only power the system when I am on and fully loading the, the system. So yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, that's a good little work around there. So I've just discovered a little bit of a weird quirk. If I uh, come up here, are these connected? No. So if I press my special vein miner button here and press and hold, uh, I take out a fair chunk of that. But look at this marble. It doesn't doesn't respond the same way. Hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know who I report that to. Is that is that like a vein miner bug? Is that a pack bug? Is that I, I, I don't I don't know. Landstrider. Um. You you probably know about that one. So I was starting to tidy up the front of my reactor here and I uh, ran into a small problem with cables. It turns out mechanism cables are not facadable. You can't put a cover on them, you can't put anything on there, or the only thing I could do is cover it up with a block. And that is uh, terrible. Also I had to move the uh, player detector down there, because over here it was bud powering that door and every time I opened the door it would just stay open because, you know, quasi-connectivity is a thing in Java Edition. So what am I going to do about this? Well, I'm going to pull this thing out of here. This is a fission reactor port. Uh, I was speaking about it last episode. It literally is one of these without the interface. So like, I, could, I can do here to interact with it as a player. But if I bring this round here, I have no idea what's going to happen to my fuel if I just crack this open. Let's take those out of there and see what happens. I, I'm possibly losing a lot of stuff by doing this, but I'm now going to put that there, and this one, I don't have my configurator on me, thank you. This one down here wants to be an out. Okay, that should now, if I remove these, is that drawing power? That is drawing power, and I want this to be a nothing. Okay, brilliant. If I can do that right, there we go. So now I've got a nice flat face um, and I've got all this around as well. Oh, 
Offense is the best defense. Now you can make steel, you can build some machines that will allow you to craft some basic and mid-range projectile weapons and the ammo to keep them loaded. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. Look what I found over here. Uh, so these guys are workbenches that keep hold of the inventory that you put inside them. So I've made a wood gear and I thought this was going to make a stone gear. There we go. We can can we have a few of those please? Thank you very much. Four of those works pretty well. We can then put them inside iron. Yep. Funny enough, you get an iron gear. It's almost like there's an entire process of making gears out of different material. That's that's not where I want it. Right in the middle, we get ourselves some machine parts. Now I've made four of them, but unfortunately, I only actually need three. Or fortunately, I I, I don't know. But I've made myself a whole bunch of these electrical engines. Yep. They are key to almost all a tech gun um what's what i'm looking for machines machines so this first one here this makes the ammo uh, the ammo press you see nice and easy bang biggity bam we will explore all these machines in a second i just want to go uh, through the crafting uh, as you can see here the metal press that's also a biggity bam i presume for making the outside of the guns and then the ammo press for making the bullet shapes um and then in here we have got the uh, chemical laboratory which again I can only assume is for making gunpowder. Okay, that's pretty good. Bam, that is a quest. Can I move this thing? This is kind of pretty much useless after mistakes. Does the wrench do it? That's the question. No, the wrench doesn't do it. Let's try with a pickaxe. Yeah, okay, cool. I, I thought we were going to lose some stuff there. Okay, start with the chemical lab, metal press, and of course, ammo at the top there. Awesome. Just awesome. Well, it looks like I'm going to need a creeper farm. But looking at this, it's just copper or tin and steel or lead. So I, I can I can do copper and lead. I can do copper and lead. I don't, I don't know if it's actually going to take that. Uh, mm -mm. Let, let's try it. Copper, lead. I don't think I need quite this many. Do I have gunpowder? Do I? Oh, 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 oh. I've, I've got a few. We're going to have to go and find ourselves a creeper farm somewhere. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Was this this top one here? Can I do dum dum dum? Is that a thing? Oh, it does. It actually takes it all anyway. Beautiful. And then this should put it... Oh, no, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, did it make the rifle rounds anyway? How do I stop this? Like, seriously, stop. Pistol rounds. I mean, pistol rounds are great. That's not what I'm after. Where's where's the rifle rounds? That's what we want. Okay, cool. Let's try it. Let's try this again. Uh, experimentation. It is a, a good a thing here. Uh, we can put the security down. I'm, I'm really not that bothered by security, to be honest with you. There's a bunch of rifle rounds. Oh, am I going to get another one? Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so we've got that. Now I think we come down to the metal press. And there's the fast and easy way to make mechanical parts. Iron plate and flint. Okay, that's pretty nice. Something to bear in mind there. I was really expecting to see magazine somewhere. Is that not a thing that we have to do? Okay, so, ooh, look at this. Gauss rifle. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. Well, I will at some point. Grenades. Oh, oh that's looking good. It's not quite what I'm looking for, though. Should we search? Yeah, I thought we'd get the uh, the magazine here how do you make magazine so that is just literally made like that i thought that was in the metal press my bad so if we take those and we come across to my uh, weapon slot here you can see i've been uh, working through a fair few magazines here so i should be able to just like put this one here and then arrange these around like this biggity bam got myself eight new clips aha uh -huh. magazines clips clips are totally different from magazines Okay, we looked at all the recipes for everything else. I totally, totally didn't look at this chemical lab here. I want to see what we can make with it. So we can make our own gunpowder out of coal dust and redstone. That's pretty nice. What is this? Biomass and gunpowder makes creeper acid. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds tasty. What do we got over here? Biofuel and gunpowder. More creeper acid. I bet there's going to be a lot of that. Gunpowder and lapis. New explosive. Okay, T TXG was that? Yeah, TGX. Okay. Diamond and blaze powder gives you carbon fiber interesting uh we've already seen the wood and the raw rubber that is something else there anything in particular wow nether charge that sounds pretty tasty cell sand and nether wall and lava so you mix them all together uh yellow cake of course end product of uranium um production i suppose yep uh, it's not the end product it's a mid product sorry enriched uranium and nuclear power cell that's looking pretty good raw rubber and green dye makes you some slime balls that's pretty good what is treated leather about i don't know we'll have a look at this at some point you can make incendiary grenades as well oh that sounds sounds like a, a lot of fun there a lot of fun with blaze ammo but let's uh, let's have a look at this treated leather now i want to know what the uses are oh it's for making the next type of armor but you know what i am not interested in tech gun armor
So with the machines complete, we get to come into here and pick ourselves a, a new reward. I think I was I was even an ahhing about the copper coins, because if we come out here and go to Arthur Market, there's this whole whole area of the mod pack that I have been let's say neglecting. I was gonna go with the word ignoring, but it's not it's not really ignoring because I didn't think about it, so I wasn't like consciously going, no, not that. I just neglected it. So uh, let, let's come in here. Copper coins. Copper coin. Uh, copper is a common resource and is highly valued for the use in machinery. Coins made of the substance that are considered the least value currency, though because of how common it is. I mean, like this is true. But can, can I have those five coins, please? That that would be good. All I need to do is tick and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Copper coins, man. Nice. Yeah. Cool. 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 All right. So we got those copper coins. Oh, look down here. We got we got some other things. Uh, so what is this? Well, to replace ten coins for a silver. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sixteen iron ingots will get us some copper coins. Do what? Can we do sixteen? I think I think we can do. Can you go away so I can see how much I've got? Okay. Yeah. We got we got more than enough for this. Uh, Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. Sixteen. Sixteen. I can I can count. I can count. You, you guys impressed with me? Are you guys impressed? Okay. So I have done that. Did that not? What? Hey, is that it? Oh, yeah, that that is it. Okay, cool. I didn't have to click it for some unknown reason. I didn't click claim anyway. It it appears to have given it to me anyway. Okay, that's that's fine. I'll live with that. I'll live with that. What about gold? Sixteen gold. Of course, I'm gonna have sixteen gold. I might only have thirty two in total. Um, are, are we are we getting everything? Like in real time, I think we might be. I think we might be. Okay, that's that's the sixteen again. Detect submit, and I just immediately, ba bang, it gives it to me. I suppose it's because there's only one item to be rewarded. I suppose that's fine. I suppose that's fine. What else can we do here? So this is bronze, uh, sixteen copper, and sixty-four tin. Ooh, this is getting no. Okay, so that's getting a little bit more. Do I have it? Actually, let's put this away because you know I may or may not actually ever need that. Uh, I am gonna hit up this tin selection here. I've got I've got some tin in here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Now, as always, it's gonna take about an hour for this entire thing to process through. It it's painful. It really really is. But it should get us going for there. So what's what what else can we do? Let's have a look here. White wool. Uh, do you know what I just. I just happen to have quite a bit of wool. Let's let's go and grab a bit of that out. Another sixteen would do wonders. That's seven, 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 seventeen is close enough. Okay, let's just detect that. It looks like it will take any wool, so that that's looking pretty good there. That's looking pretty good. So we got our, ourselves some more coins. I don't even know what the coins are about. Uh, we got a thousand twenty-four cobblestone. I, can, I think I can do that. What what is that? Thousand twenty-four divided by sixty-four. 16. Of, of course it's 16. I mean, why, why would that not be? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I, I haven't got enough. Let's, let's look at the full thing. 750. I actually don't have enough. Okay, we've got 15 copper coin. Let's do this silver coin upgrade. Oh, no, no, wrong way around. Let's do the silver coin upgrade. Let's do that. Thank you very much. I'll claim that. I've got myself a silver coin. Whoop. Do, do you reckon I can make coins? Is that, is that a thing? Yeah, I did it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, can we come in here and go, can I get the recipe? No, there are no... Ooh, no, not that. There are no uh, recipes. What about uses? No, it's literally only for this. Okay, that's, that's fine. It's not a thing to be made. It is only a thing to be won from this thing. Oh, good. We got another quest update. R really? Quest update? Let's come back. So is this, like, immediately available? Detect submit? Is that... It only took five coins off of me? Oh, are they gone now? Are they, like, gone, 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 gone? I don't know. Let's let's come out of here. Let's have a look at my inventory. I think so. I'm going to do a quick relog and see if it stole them off me. It did. It full on stole five coins off of me. Ah, that's that's a little sad. Okay. Oh, at least it's showing the five now. I, d I didn't see that beforehand. It might might have shown that, and I was just like, yeah, whatever. Uh, your own store. I'm not I'm not after making a store, but looking at this vending block, that's pretty good. I'm getting enchanted. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, vending storage attachment. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh. I don't think I've got anything to sell right now, but let's let's have a look. Let's make a vending block. This is this is nice actually. I like this uh, much. Okay, let's see how to do so. Come in here. Oh look, there are many uh, multiple ways of vending. And what's this? Oh, creative vending. No, that's not what we're after. But that that's the one it's been asking for. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look, you can put whatever type of block on the bottom that you want by the looks of it. Okay, I'm going to make the wood one because it's it's literally asked for the wood one and I don't want to, like, 
break things by not doing what it asks for. Uh, so we get one of those and a bunch of glass over here. Remember what I was saying about building that scaffold at some point. I, I, I definitely think it's time to do this. Uh, I need five of those. That, that's maybe a little bit too many, but that's fine. That's fine. Two of those. Was there something else I needed? It was, of course, a redstone repeater. Okay. Or, or even a bit of redstone. I looked in the advanced one, not the, uh, not the standard. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, click that one. So it should hello thanks cool uh it should be this in the middle with this just above like so two bits of wood and some glass it makes a vending block all right i have no idea <laughs> no idea guys i know where it would live i know where it would live let's uh open this up like this walk around the front uh hello mr mr um villager statue that's your name okay selling locking buying these these, these are nice all right selling cut silver coin no no let's not do that uh what what can we sell let's let's have a look do i have anything completely inconsequential we could we could sell forest front door key that that would be fun uh i i i don't know this this stuff beryllium dust i don't think anyone's actually going to want this i'm just trying to figure out how it works so selling beryllium dust buying beryllium dust is that is that the thing yeah actually it is it's selling ugh, you can't see behind the way here uh if we if we if we kind of like squint a little bit and look at the black box behind you can see twitchy selling 32 beryllium's for 16 beryllium okay that's pretty good how about like 32 for a silver coin ah oh, that that also works. okay i'm just gonna leave that there I, mm, I, uh, what can i put in there that people will actually buy hmm what what i want to do Oh man, and I don't have any copper coins left. I want to put like single copper coin um, for half stack of coal or something like that. Like I want to buy the coal. Um, that that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so we we found out some trading blocks, guys, online. Wow, trading. That's that's something to uh, to make use of, don't you think? I I think so. Oh, I did a silly. Oh, I did a silly. You guys, you guys see the silly that I did? It's a silly that I do all the time. Let's hope that the pickaxe is the one to be gone, the one to be used here. Uh, did, of course, not do... No tool? Oh, 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 you just you just punch it. You just punch it and it disappears. That's that's good, that's good. Because, of course, coming in like this... Can you, can you detect that, please? Vending block consumes... Yes. Did you, did you eat my vending block? Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to have... What does the vending storage attachment do? I should imagine does many things, many things. Let's let's do the vending storage attachment. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, did that give it to me? No, I don't don't feel like it did. Oh, it says it did. Okay, that's cool. Uh, this is still all waiting to go. All right, brilliant. What what else are we? Oh, I got sixty four coin there. Is that with this? Is there is there more? Oh, I did. I did actually get more there. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, don't have diamonds. What what are these down for at the bottom? Let's have a look. Uh, one copper coin will give you a heart container, please. If you don't mind, that would be not. See, zero copper coins. It's not going to dip the show one until I like come out, go back in. Yeah, hmm. Better, better questing. Not really that good. All right, claim it. Great, thanks. Oh, guys, are you are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Oh come on, it. There we go. <laughs> I've got six hearts. Woo! -hoo! Wow, one copper coin will get you one of all these, including a glowstone? I'm like, yes, I will, I will take some of those. That's pretty good. Uh, coming over here, the silver. I assume this is what it's actually all about. There's this little purchase area here. Ender pearl, one silver. Okay, that's nice, because these, these these are hard to find in the world at the moment. A configurator with a skeleton skull. That's, that's pretty good, pretty tasty. I'm not after the bone shield or the fishing rod. I mean, I might be. I just don't think I am. Uh, so that's all pretty pretty good uh let's have a look at the gold the mining laser the chorus flute through end stone advanced cir circuits cyber arms nice enderium cooler Ooh, ooh, that's very good very nice and cryomethium uh, cooler also exceedingly good uh platinums wow power armor head chest and leggings and boots wow dragon's breath dragon's egg Fusion Electromagnets. Man, the shop is real. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Carrots, potatoes, and beetroots. Mm, I might know where I can get a load of those. And, oh, all the sh all the seeds. All the seeds. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Woo! <laughs> yes! 
Ah, I was going to do this from this side, but uh, but this one looks better. Yes, I'm in a dirt box. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Yeah, I'm in a dirt box, and I've lost half a heart. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, doing some editing, and I left myself just sat over here. And I got up to make myself a cup of tea, and whilst I was in the kitchen, I heard a tink, 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 and I rushed back as fast as I could. But obviously, I've only got six hearts. Uh, spider got me. Was it wasn't even a particularly tough spider to get. I just wasn't wasn't visible. Was not visible. But I'm afraid with that I am gonna say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today we made sure that the reactor only worked when we were online, and of course I found out everything that we could about this beautiful trading system. I'm gonna see if I can get more people online involved in that. Maybe make some sort of like spawn-based trading hall or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we can get some some group things going on there. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. I'll probably have actually already got it done by then. But still, with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time when we're going to do other things or process it. We're going to make sure that we can process our dead fuel into better working fuel for the reactors. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!